Are you a procrastinator? Do you often find yourself watching TV, browsing the internet, scrolling through social media, talking to people as a distraction, or even just being too much in your head, daydreaming about things when you should be working on an important project, when you should be getting something done? We've all been there, right? So comment below if you have experiences below. Like this if you have been in this situation before. Well, guess what? The good news is that you can actually cure procrastination or at least reduce it dramatically through self-love. And before I tell you how, let me explain to you why we procrastinate in the first place. The reason why we tend to procrastinate is either because we really don't like the activity and we absolutely dread doing it, or because we fear that we are not capable enough, that we don't have the skills and the abilities, that we don't have the knowledge to excel at this activity. And so we protect ourselves by procrastinating. We protect our self-esteem, our self-image, or social image, in fact. You procrastinate because you're not regulating your emotions well. And so when something that you don't like comes up, or when you don't feel adequate enough to complete the task, when you feel like you might fail, you procrastinate as a self-protective mechanism. Procrastination becomes your distraction from the actual emotions from the actual activity and so by not taking a moment to think about okay what's going on inside of me why am i procrastinating what am i trying to avoid you actually keep repeating this behavior and that is once again a sign of not regulating your emotions properly of not being aware of what is going on inside you now, how does self-love help you with all of this? How does it tie in? Well, the beautiful thing about self-love is that it reduces the fear of failure. It takes away the fear of failure because you know that regardless of whether you fail or succeed, you will love yourself regardless because you will have this compassion for yourself and you say so what i failed everybody fails it's okay i still love myself self-love is beautiful and extremely powerful in the way that it changes your self-talk the way that you think about yourself because when you have this fear of failure when you have this fear of not being good enough of not having enough skills it is mostly because of the self-talk it is because you lie to yourself by saying oh my god i'm so terrible i will never succeed people will abandon me when they find out i'm a scam i'm an imposter and so you create a sphere around failure. If I fail, my family won't love me. If I fail, what message does it send to my partner? And so you keep repeating these very unhealthy emotions, these lies, if you could say. But if you have self-love, your self-talk is completely different. If you have self-love, you tell yourself, I will succeed. If you have self-love, you tell yourself, they will be blown away by my presentation. If you have self-love, you tell yourself, I will absolutely nail it. And even if I don't, I will be unforgettable. Even if I don't, I will learn something. Even if I don't, I will improve my skills and become even better, even more amazing. So what that I won't be perfect? Nobody likes perfection. Perfection is scary. In fact, having flaws connects you with people. In fact, having flaws makes you more relatable to others. So what if I'm flawed? People will love me even more, so it's fine if I fail, nobody will judge me, and even if I make a flaw of myself, everybody will forget, 
I'll just laugh at it. It's fine. Everything is good. This is how you talk to yourself when you have self-love. And so you take away this fear of failure, take away this pressure. Yes, you might still be afraid a little bit, but you just reduce it because you don't put this pressure on yourself that you need to be perfect. You don't put this pressure on yourself that people will love you if you fail. You just simply be it. You do it because you love yourself. The other beauty of self-love is the mindfulness behind it. Because self-love doesn't mean only telling yourself the beautiful things. It also means being aware of your flaws and your weaknesses and loving them regardless. It means embracing them. It means using it as an empowerment because awareness means power. Wow, that was beautiful. In fact, go ahead, comment down below. Awareness means power. And in fact, some of the most charming people in the world are very aware of their flaws and insecurities. They openly show them, they make fun of it. They joke about it. So what, I'm sure, blah, 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 blah. You know, you joke about it or you're too, too chubby maybe, or you have, I don't know what you have, but they joke about themselves. They take themselves lightly and that's what makes them so charming, so relatable. So don't be afraid of your flaws. And also, this awareness helps you to check in with yourself and regulate the emotions that you would not be regulating otherwise. Because instead of being afraid that there is something just so wrong with you, you go ahead and say, Hey darling, how are you doing? Why are you procrastinating? What's going on inside you? Is there something that you have not processed? Is there something that you need to look at that you need to feel through? Why are you feeling this way? Tell me. And you check in with yourself, you process it, and you're able to move on and nail it, nail that project. Now, what about the I don't like doing it part of procrastination? Often people wonder, wouldn't self-love make me too lazy? Wouldn't it just make me lie on the couch all day, think everything will be fine, I don't have to do anything, I'm loved regardless. No, actually that is not the truth because when you truly love yourself, you want what is best for you. Even if that means working hard, even if that means making sacrifices because you know in the end, it will pay off. Self-love is not just the lovey-dovey part. Self-love is about holding yourself accountable. This is why you're aware of both. This is where the mindfulness comes in place, where you see both sides. And so no, it would not make you too lazy. It would in fact make you even more excited about doing the things because you know it will serve you and push you to become the greatest version of yourself. I ultimately believe that self-love is the key to long-term success. I believe that a self-love is the key to long-term happiness, to inner joy, to inner peace, because you don't stress yourself out. You don't put this unreasonable pressure on yourself and you're meeting your own needs. And even if you don't like the activity and you simply don't want to do it, you can just outsource it, but you still get it done. You're still getting it done. And that's the point of self-love because you're still becoming your best version. So do you want to know how to love yourself? In that case, go ahead and check out my other video called How to Love Yourself. It's a very obvious title. You won't miss it. Go check it out in my playlist right now where I show you step by step how you can start loving yourself right now and what self-love actually means. All right? Comment below if you like this video. Share this with others. Like this and subscribe to see more of me <laughs> every single day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.